Harry is cruel and Madonna's no longer material. Find out why in today's Showbiz Hot 5. Quick question for you, can you be injured by a soap? And I don't mean the liquid kind. Well, according to one Corrie fan, you can. The couple's devotee managed to break his neck during a commercial break after he made a mad dash to the loo, fearing that he'd miss his favourite show. When he slipped and fractured his neck in three places, he decided never to tune in again, fearing it would bring back bad memories of his near-fatal accident. Whoopi Goldberg has hit out at Denise Richards for letting her children appear in a reality TV show. The former Bond girl has been doing the promotional rounds for It's Complicated, which focuses on her life after Charlie Sheen. But she got a whooping from Whoopi, who doesn't agree with Denise letting cameras follow her kids. Now, when Madonna does something, she makes sure she does it properly, and last night was no exception. She was at Sharon Stone's famous charity bash, where she auctioned off her Chanel handbag, complete with her lip gloss, lip balm and hair clips, as well as a piece of blotting paper, which she wiped her face on. It must have taken someone's fancy, though, because it sold for a whopping €300,000. But hey, why stop there? Madonna then decided to take it one step further by putting herself up for auction. She offered one lucky fan an autograph guitar and a private concert for two people backstage before any of her shows on her upcoming Sticky and Sweet tour. And the price tag of that little lot? A mere 350 euros. And sticking with the material mum for a moment, it seems that she can boast a pretty impressive A-list fan club, founded, it seems, by a certain Mary J. Blige. You know, she's just not afraid to be Madonna, and I, I respect that. Finally, French-Canadian warbler Celine Dion has been joined by President Nicolas Sarkozy, who proclaimed her a Knight in the Legion of Honour. Now, here's a bit of history for you. The decoration was established by Napoleon Bonaparte in 1802 and is the highest accolade in France, awarded for outstanding services to the country. But Celine doesn't do things by halves, oh no, because this is actually the second award she's received after being made a Knight in the Order of Arts and Letters in 1990. That's nearly enough knighthoods to make up her own round table.